Master in Technology in a multinational professional services company that provides services in strategy, consulting, digital technology and operations. Um, my job is specifically in delivery of software projects to clients and throughout my career I've been involved in all aspects of software delivery such as build, test, design at the start, uh, change and I'm currently working as a project manager. So I started out with a general degree in science, um, probably because of my love of science and I started studying chemistry, biology, computer science and maths. Now I have to admit that when I started I didn't really know anything about computer science. Um, so I discovered it and ended up loving it and I did my, I majored in uh, computer science in my primary degree. Um, following that, because of my love of the area, um, I did a research master's in computational linguistics and then did a PhD in cognitive science. So cognitive science is a hybrid between computer science and psychology and I found it really, really interesting and I loved it. I suppose you could say I was inspired by my mum. Um, she encouraged me to study computer science because she knew I was good at maths and she also had the foresight to know that computer science would really open doors in terms of jobs in the future. So when I started I didn't knew nothing about it but computer science is a really broad area. So when I discovered the cognitive science, the psychology aspects and the computational modelling, uh, that was my niche and I absolutely loved it. So currently I am working on a project which is attempting to automate uh, paper, existing paper processes. Um, basically this will be hugely beneficial in terms of creating efficiencies for those people doing this job and also it will allow a reduction of errors uh, due to manual errors. People make mistakes. What I love about my job what really excites me is the challenge that it brings. Um, I bring a lot of my problem solving from my computer science background every day into my, into my daily job. And the other aspect of my job that I love is the human interaction. I'm very much a people person. So I love working with teams and the clients themselves uh, for a lot of our software projects. <music> Um, I hope to make a difference by encouraging people around me um, as well as the work that I've worked on in terms of the projects uh, that I have uh, done in the companies which have created efficiencies for those people and the companies themselves. Um, but I think I'm still very early in my career to be able to fully answer that one. I like to think so anyway. <laughs> I'd like to accomplish uh, what I've done to date which is um, efficiencies and helping people making things better. Um, I think I'd also like to be able to inspire younger women um, and men to help them in their careers, to help them be themselves, uh, bring their uniqueness to uh, whatever job they're doing and to encourage that. I think it is so important to have diversity and balance. STEM is such a broad area and to have it dominated predominantly by men, it just reduces the potential of success. By having diverse teams with balanced numbers of men and women and all diversity, it means that balanced ideas can arise, which ultimately benefits everyone. So diversity of opinion leads to a more holistic approach and therefore higher achievement. So this is a great question because retrospect is a great thing. Um, I would say open your eyes to what's out there. Don't expect to find what you're looking for straight away. Uh, be open to opportunities and try lots of things. You'll eventually find what you like. 
but ultimately take each day as it comes. Every journey requires one step at a time and just don't be afraid to take that first step. Science, technology, engineering and maths. That term encompasses such a diverse area. And the key to STEM is not only that it's diverse, but it is so interesting. Um, for me, I think it's uh, technology and science. There's just so many interesting aspects to it. There's so many branches that there's undoubtedly something in there that will interest and inspire you. Please just take a look, open your eyes, investigate, and I guarantee you, you'll find something that you love.